Hello, you are welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at a sequential control circuit such that we have two motors, motor 1, motor 2. Motor 2 can only be started when motor 1 is running. And when the two motors are working and we stop motor 1, there is no way we can restart motor 1 unless we stop motor 2. Stop and start buttons for contactor 1 or motor 1. Stop and start buttons for contactor 2 or motor 2. Open contact on contactor 1. Close contact on contactor 2. Open contact on contactor 1. Open contact on contactor 2. In case you want to start motor 2 first, let's see what happens. When you press on the start button, can you flow through to this point? When it gets here, because the K1 is not energized, there is no way the current can continue to flow through to energize the K2 or contactor 2. This is the main reason why motor 2 can never be started until motor 1 is running. Now, let me come back to motor 1 circuit. When you press on the start button, it becomes close. Therefore, can we flow through this close contact, through this close contact, through this close contact on contactor 2 to energize contactor 1. When contactor 1 energizes, this open contact will close to serve as a hold on so that when we remove our hand from the start button and it opens, can to still flow through this close contact on the K1 to maintain the K1 in energized state. As the K1 is energized, this contact is closed. Therefore, when we press on the start button, can we flow through this close contact, through this close contact, through this close contact on the K1 to energize the K2 or motor 2. The moment it energizes, this contact will close to provide a hold on so that when you remove our hand from the start button, this contact will open. But can you still flow through this close contact on the K2 to keep the K2 in energized state? As the K2 is energized, this contact is open. Now we have two motors running, motor 1, motor 2, or contactor 1, contactor 2, energized. We can de-energize each contactor using their stop buttons. When we press on the stop button of contactor 2, it will de-energize. But because contactor 1 is still energized, this contact is closed. Therefore, when I press on the start button again, can to flow through this close contact, through this close contact, and then through the close contact on the K1 to re-energize the K2. In this case, we can stop and start the K2 at any time. But let's see the K1 or contactor 1. When we press on the stop button, the K1 or contactor 1 will de-energize. When we press on the start button again, current will flow through this close contact, through this close contact. When it gets here, this contact, because the K2 is still energized, this contact is open. Therefore, there is no way current can flow through to re-energize the K1. This means that when motor 1 and motor 2 are both running and we stop motor 1, there is no way we can restart motor 1 unless we stop motor 2. Let's see the wiring. These are motor 1 stop and start buttons. Motor 2 stop and start buttons. K1, K2, our supply breaker, life and neutral. We are wiring motor 1. From life, it comes to one side of the stop button. From the other side of the stop button, it goes to one side of the start button. From the other side of the start button, it goes to one side of the close contact on K2. From the other side of the K2 close contact, it goes to A1 of K1. We tap from the input side of the start button to one side of the open contact on K1. We tap from the other side of the open contact on K1 to K2 close contact. We are done with motor 1, left with motor 2. We tap from line 1 
or from the input of Moto 1 stop button to Moto 2 stop button input. From the other side of the stop button, it goes to one side of the start button. From the other side of the start button, it goes to one side of the open contact on K1. From the other side of the open contact on K1, it goes to A1 of K2. We tap from the input side of the start button to one side of the open contact on K2. From the other side of the open contact, it goes to the K1 open contact. It's left with the mirror neutral. We connect to K1 A2. We tap from there to K2 A2. This is K1 A2. K2 A2. We are done with the wiring. I am turning on the main breaker. Since the contactor 1 is not energized, I can't energize contactor 2. This is contactor 2 start button. Unless I energize contactor 1 by pressing on this start button. Now that contactor 1 is energized, I can energize contactor 2. Now both contactors are energized. I can de-energize contactor 2 and energize it again. I am de-energizing contactor 1. Now that contactor 1 is de-energized and contactor 2 is still energized, I can't re-energize contactor 1 again. Let's see. Unless I de-energize contactor 2 before I can re-energize contactor 1. This brings us to the end of today's video. This project was requested by my YouTube subscriber who is also my follower on TikTok. So kindly follow this page and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright? I will see you in my next tutorials. Thank you.